I'm sorry, I'm here, but I'm a little late. Zainab is coming. Tagreed is coming, amazing. Raid is coming. That is it. Okay, I have to apologize. A certain problem happened. So I think I have to share the screen and we have to go back to the page. Okay, so I was asking you, um, Himan, a question, which was, what if I want to eat fast food, too much fast food? Will I die young? Yes. Um, but like I say, uh, healthy food is very important, but isn't uh, a very live longer. Uh -huh. Um, that's is it. Um, في كتير إشي إنه هي لو قال إنه أكلنا أكل صحي بس مثل عنا بتت smoking. آه. كتير إشي بتضر بالصحة اللي لو نحن مش عم ندخن بس الجو هالقصة yes. حتى الأكل الصحي بطل هو أكل صحي يعني قد ما عم يعملوا له قصص وقبليات قد ما أكل صحي وعم سبورت وكتير أشياء بس كل شيء بدور بصحتنا صاير exactly yeah I agree with you but I hope that you said that in English yes absolutely because they want to grow the plants fast and because everything is commercial these days, we don't trust food if it is really healthy, or maybe no. Thank you so much, by the way, Hiba. Okay. Uh, Raid, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Raid, uh, some people say that God is the one who is going to decide if you have to live long or maybe short life. Is that true? Uh, can you repeat, please? Yes, I can. Some people say that whatever you do, whatever you do, God is the one who is going to decide if you have to die or maybe you have to live. Is that true? Yes, yes, that's true because um, on this life, uh, many people uh, have uh, a good lifestyle and... Uh, and eating healthy and uh, doing sport and uh, yani, mm -hmm. and they die in uh, in in very uh, small old mm. ah this is it yes yani انت مع الناس اللي بتقول اذا عشت حياه جيده ستموت بصحه جيده yes maybe okay Okay, uh, right. What if I want to eat too much fast food? Will I die young? Yes, I think uh, you will die uh, die uh, old, young, young. Sorry, because uh, you, uh, yani you will be uh, fat and uh, and many problems, yani, uh, in in your health, mm, yeah, like uh, like sick career. Diabetes. And uh, yes, yeah. and I'm uh, very much uh, problems. Yes. Are you fat, uh, Raid? No. Do you eat too much junk food? No, I eat too much, but not uh, junk food. Amazing, God, God bless you, I'm Raid. Okay, so this is it, guys. Okay. About their ambition, some of you called it extra. Ordinary ambition, not ordinary ambition, and it, it, it was really good. Okay, concerning that we are talking about food, we have to complete talking about food. Uh, please, um, guys, don't forget that we have a three kinds of a plural. Let me tell you something before discussing this page, uh, because uh, uh, I want to mention a main idea uh, before uh, discussing the next page. What is this? It's not uh, uh, Holy God. What's this? I'm sorry. Uh, let me write on this page. But maybe I open something different. No, it says it. Okay. Uh, don't forget, please, guys, that we have three kinds of a plural. The first kind is called regular plural. Absolutely, the regular plural. Simply, you can add S 
S I E S. This plural is called regular, like cat, cats. This is cat. This is cats. And like boss, bosses. This is boss. I have to add E S. So this noun is called regular, but because simply you can add S E S I E S. But some nouns don't accept the S E S I E S. For example, like man. Now, if you want to say man, the plural is what? Man. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to say, for example, mouse, the plural is what? Uh, mice. Mice, that is it. So these nouns, I know that these nouns don't accept S, E, S, I, E, S, but I have to change the whole noun to mention the plural. This kind of nouns are called irregular. They don't accept uh, the uh, S, E, S, I, E, S, but at least you have to change the noun to mention uh, the plural, like person, people. But we have nouns, guys. This is the third kind of nouns, and this is what we have to discuss. It's called uncountable. Uncountable noun. Let me tell you something, guys. Any noun except S, E, S, I, E, S, or any noun except the change, this is called countable noun. So number one and number two are called countable nouns, but we have uh, a certain kind of nouns are called uncountable. When I say uncountable, they don't accept the S and even they don't accept the change, like information. I cannot say informations, it's wrong, and even it doesn't accept the change. So this is called uh, uncountable, like meat, for example, because we are talking about food, like milk. Sugar. Honey. Sugar, thank you. Honey, amazing. Sugar, honey. honey. Exactly. So these nouns, guys, even if you want to mention the singular or plural, they don't change at all. You cannot add anything, and even you cannot change anything. These nouns are called uncountable nouns. Now, because we are talking about food, absolutely, the nouns in food, we have countable nouns and uncountable nouns concerning food. Let's discuss the nouns that we have in these two tables and let's label the nouns that are countable and the nouns that are uncountable. Notice that we have apples, grapes, we have as, carrots, prawns. Guys, prawns, do you know the meaning of prawns? Uh, you do. No. What, is, uh, what is the meaning of shrimp? Oh, bravo. But guys, shrimp is the كبير or we call it the jumbo. Between the prawn, the red is the small. If someone is going to a seafood restaurant, we notice in the fridge there is shrimp. Of course, shrimp is good and red is, but the size is small. Between the prawns, the red is the small. This is prawns, and this is countable noun, absolutely. Vegetables and calories. So these nouns are what? Countable nouns. Countable, countable nouns, exactly. So they easily accept the S, so they are countable nouns. Notice the next list. We have meat, fish, all juice, absolutely. Coffee or all liquids. A fruit, tea, a broccoli, and alcohol. They are what? Uncountable. So please don't add S to these nouns. So they are uncountable nouns. Okay. Because we can say fruits. Fruits? No, we can't. Fruits language, informal. Okay. حتى أنا بعرف إنه أحيانا نحن بالطريق بنشوف مثلا علي foods. Guys, food is uncountable, but foods is a language only in the street. Fruits mm -hmm. only in the street. Fishes only in the street. Please. Okay. So again, this is about countable and uncountable. After that, now we have to discuss many, much. We have to discuss little, a few. Okay. Let's listen to the recording and let's check the rule. After listening to the recording, I'm going to give you the chance to check the rule with the countable and uncountable nouns. The recording is about 4.1. Let me play the recording. Thanks, God, because it's the beginning of unit four. 
with ah, countable, you can say many. Uh, with yeah, uncountable, you can exactly. say much. Exactly. What about a few or a little? Uh, both. Nope. Okay. Let's discuss it. Okay. So let's listen and let's fill the blanks and let's discover the rule. Unit 4, Tape Script 4.1. Questions about the diet. 1. Today, we are talking to a couple who are following the calorie restriction diet. So, my first question is, do you eat any meat? Okay. Guys, do you remember the rule of some and any? Have some we... and uh -huh. Oh, bravo, amazing. So, with countable and uncountable, I have to use some any. But why here I used any? Any uh, negative form. Any negative? Uh, negative? I don't think that we have negative. Uh, because I'm a question. Ah, bravo, because you have a question. Okay, guys. Have we discussed the rule of some and any? Some will positive, any oh, will bravo. So question and negative. So notice here, no, we don't. This is negative. So absolutely, I have to use any. So thanks, God, you remember the rule. So do you eat any meat? No, we don't eat any meat at all. What? We don't eat any meat at we all. We don't eat any meat. Absolutely any, because it is negative. We don't eat any meat. Okay, but we eat some... But we eat some fish. fish. So, oh, bravo. Fish. So, as Zainab said, yeah. some and any with countable and uncountable, but be careful if the sentence is positive or maybe negative, or if it is a question or maybe no. Okay, now two. Two. How much fish do you eat? What? How much fish do you eat? Uh -huh. fish. Why did I say how much, not how many? Because fish, fish uncountable. Oh, bravo. Because fish is uncountable. uncountable. I have, oh, bravo. I have to use much, but not many. This is many. Okay, this is how many. Okay, mm -hmm. so how much fish do you eat? We eat a little. Notice, guys, we have a little and we have a few. Okay, let's keep listening. We eat a little white fish. What? We, hear, we eat a little white fish. Oh, uh, bravo. So, rule number two is saying, with uncountable nouns... We can have, say a, uh, a bravo. little. Oh, bravo. With countable, I have to say what? A few. A few. A few. So, we eat a little fish. Okay. But we love shellfish, so we eat a lot of prawns. A lot of what? Prawns. Prawns. Exactly. A lot of with countable and uncountable nouns. So we eat a lot of prawns. So this is two, now three. Three. Do you eat much fruit? What? Do you eat much fruit? Oh, bravo. Fruit? Why fruit? Because much. Pamana, uh, hello, fruit is countable. Can we be Many. Many. Oh, Many. bravo. So, do we eat much fruit? Oh, yes. We eat a lot of fresh fruit. What? We eat fresh a lot of fruit. Oh, bravo. Fruit. So, a lot of with countable and uncountable. Prawns is countable and fruit is uncountable. So, I can use it with both. So, we eat a lot of fresh. We still have two blanks. Apples and grapes, but everything. What? Apples and fruit. Oh, bravo. 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 Apples is countable. A fruit is uncountable. Still. A lot with the uncountable. Oh, bravo. So, a lot of fruit, apples, and what? Grapes. 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 Exactly. So, grapes. Everything. The grapes. Now, four. Four. And do you eat many vegetables? So? Many vegetables. Uh, vegetables. Vegetables. Uh-huh. Why did we use many? Countable noun. It is countable, exactly. So I have to use many. So, do you eat many 
vegetables? Yes, of course. We eat lots of raw vegetables. So? Vegetables. Uh, raw vegetables. Oh, bravo. Raw, we eat a lot of raw vegetables. Countable and uncountable. Now five. Five. Don't you cook any vegetables at all? We cook some. Sometimes we steam a few carrots and a little broccoli. What? Carrots, carrots and a little broccoli. So this is carrots. And this is broccoli. Absolutely, carrots is countable. Countable, broccoli, uh, uncountable. Incountable. Incountable. Exactly. Broccoli. Okay. Now, my question is, why here we used any? Because... Uh, question. Oh, bravo. It is a question. The second question is, why here we use some? Some because the, the answer is positive. Ah, oh, bravo, positive. And why we have uh, or we used few? A few because countable. Countable. And countable. Oh, and countable. Exactly. So this is five. Now six. Six. And what do you drink? Well, we don't drink any tea or coffee. What? Any tea, tea or, or coffee. Oh, bravo. It is negative. So tea or coffee. Okay. If you are writing, you have to write them. So we don't drink any tea or coffee, but... And naturally, there's no alcohol in our diet. So? Alcohol. There is no alcohol. Better I have alcohol, is I have vegetables. What shall I say? There is no vegetables. A few. There aren't. Ah, oh, bravo. Sorry. Aren't it? Uh, bravo. So, because it is uncountable, I used is. There is mm -hmm. no alcohol in our diet. Okay. But we do drink a lot of orange juice. So? Orange juice. Orange juice. juice. Apple juice. It is countable and... And I don't know what happened. Orange juice. It is not the seven. Amazing. <laughs> finally. Okay. So let me go back. So finally seven. How many calories do you have every day? So how many calories? So calories. calories. Exactly. Calories. It is countable. So I said many. So calories. Do you eat every day? About? About 1,500. That's about 1,000 fewer than most people. So this is it. About using of any, some, much, a few, and a little. Please be careful about using them because it is about countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, guys? Okay, teacher. Okay. So I think we have to stop here and absolutely it's not the end. We still have some exercises about them. They are really important. We will complete the next class. Do you Thank have any you questions? Oh, okay. Let me wish a good night for you. And let me uh, 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 say thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher.